three ingredient peanut butter cookie. The three ingredients are chunky peanut butter, a cup of sugar, and one egg. We're gonna start by putting this cup of sugar into the stand mixer. I'm gonna add one egg, and then I'm going to grab the whisk attachment to our mixer. We wanna whisk it a lot. We wanna incorporate a lot of air into this. It'll give us a nice fluffy cookie dough, which will give us a nice soft cookie. So this is what it looks like. It's mostly like white, marshmallowy colored. And I'm just gonna whip it up a tiny bit more just to make sure everything is incorporated. So now our cup of peanut butter, Chunky we're using, hey Chunky, we're gonna put that into our mixer. And we're going to mix this just until it incorporates. Not any longer than that. Perfect. I'm just gonna incorporate the rest of this dough by hand. You can kind of see there's some like white streaks in there. Totally fine, totally cool. I'm gonna start scooping our cookie dough onto a sheet tray. The peanut butter cookies, they won't stick to your tray, so you don't need any parchment paper here. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give them the grandma treatments. I'm gonna start smashing these down with a fork, because that's how my grandma used to do it. And I also like that too, because it kind of flattens the cookies out a little bit. So you just kind of like roll your fork around in that sugar. Give them a smash one direction. Give them a smash the other direction. And then carefully remove. Look at that! Oh my god, he's so cute. And the sugar here just kind of acts as like a non-stick for the fork. So you don't get your fork stuck in cookie dough. So we have our cookies all smashed down. So I'm gonna pop these into an oven at 350 degrees and let them cook for seven to eight minutes. So I actually wanna show you one more tip um, before these cookies are finished. A great way to get cookies nice and round is to use a little biscuit cutter. You just give them a little like this, and it just kind of cleans up the edges of the cookies so that they're all the same size. There we go. The last thing I want to do with these cookies, they still have this little bowl of sugar. I'm just gonna give them a sprinkle of sugar on top. This gives them a little garnish, but it also gives them a little extra crunch on top. So I'm just gonna let those cool. You want them to completely cool in the sheet tray before you take them off. All right, here we go. Here is our finished peanut butter cookies. 